Hello everyone and welcome back to the Honey Bee Stamps YouTube channel. This is Kelly and I am so excited to have you here for day one of our Make It Merry holiday release. We're starting off today with one of my favorites of this release. This is the Lovely Layers Winter Birds. Now this die set creates a chickadee and a cardinal. You can see the layering guide here it gives you kind of color suggestions on your ink blending or on your solid colored cardstock. Now, if you wanted to ink blend these, you could do these in any color. I think that Cardinal would make a beautiful blue jay as well. And so you can see in those dies all the little details where that is going to emboss into your paper. So it makes really pretty feathers and layers. The little chickadee here is so sweet. And then there is a coordinating sentiment set. We had to have some sentiments to go with those cute little winter birds. So this is Let Nature Sing. Included in this sentiment set is Christmas Blessings, Seasons Tweetings, Always Listen for the Bird Song, Cardinals Appear When Angels Are Near, Warm Winter Wishes, Holiday Wishes Flying Your Way, He Will Shelter You Under His Wings, and Let Heaven and Nature Sing. There's also an awesome coordinating die set that's going to cut out all of those sentiments so you can add those to your cards with your cardinal or your chickadee. Now here's a card that I created during one of our live streams. You can see that great sentiment set there or the sentiment and then the beautiful cardinal and then the beautiful winter greenery, which we'll get to in just a minute. But this is our layering holiday bells and they are so cute and so sweet. A little touch of vintage. You can see here on our layering guide how easy it is to layer all the pieces together to get these great little bells. I'm going to create a card with this at the end of the video, so I hope you'll stick around for that. But the layering holiday bells are not only great for the holidays, but also wedding and anniversary cards. You could do them silver and white and add those to your wedding cards. Now there is a sentiment set that's called Jingle All the Way. It has some great sentiments and I love this font. We have Christmas bells are ringing, soon it will be Christmas day, Christmas is here bringing good cheer, Jingle All the Way, Tis the Season, Magic is in the Air, Deck the Halls, Joy, Make it Merry, Sleigh Bells Ring, Jingle Bells, and Jingle All the Way. And then there is, of course, a great coordinating die set that's going to cut out all those sentiments. So I love that to be able to add dimension onto the front of my card. Now next up is a die set that creates the sweetest layering winter village. So this die set, you can create two different little houses and a church. You can see here on our layering guide where it has all those little details and show you it shows you exactly where they go. I love that there's little trees. There's even little snow pieces that you can cut out of glitter paper or something like that to add to your little houses and little roofs. There's also the cute little lamp posts. I love these and I love the layering options with the wreaths and the swags. You can add those to your little posts. You can put those on your homes or on your church. This is just adorable and so sweet. Now here Emily has created a card with the Winter Village die set. And I just love this little scene that she's made and the fun colors. And she's paired that with one of our new sentiment sets. Now here is that sentiment set and it is called Home for the Holidays. We have a great mix of sentiments. Some would be great even on the inside of your cards like may the true spirit of Christmas fill your heart with peace and your home with love. Home for the Holidays. Thank you for your holiday hospitality. That's a great one. All hearts come home for Christmas. Merry Christmas from our home to yours and several more great homey sentiments. Now there's also the great coordinating die set that's going to cut out all of those sentiments to add to your card. Next up is our Lovely Layers Winter Greenery die set and this is an 
awesome die set. I've had a chance to play lots with this. There's a great big pine cone, several branches that are great for your little birds to perch on, and these just mix and match so beautifully with a lot of our containers, and you'll see some new containers today, but there's holly and berries and berries that you can add to the little stems, different styles of stems, so you can make it into like a cedar or a blue spruce or something like that but I love this die set it just makes the most beautiful greenery now let me show you how this works several of the branches in this set were specifically designed for the little chickadee and for the cardinal to have a place to perch so you can see how cute that looks this is where that little cardinal was perching on the card that I shared earlier and this is one of our brand new containers. This is the layering vintage picnic basket. So you can see we have the little tin or little metal picnic basket. It is so great filled with all of your greenery and florals. And you can see here from the layering guide, the little handles and how everything goes together. Now this is the new Lovely Layers Poinsettia. This creates a beautiful large poinsettia. You can also use the smaller pieces of this die set, the inside portions of that flower to create a smaller poinsettia. There's also some great leaves. You can see here from the layering guide where it gives you uh, color suggestions to get the deep color towards the back and then lighter towards the front. And this is beautiful in all of those containers as well. Here's a gorgeous card from Lisa, and you can see how she has paired those poinsettias and filled it into her little vintage picnic basket. You can see the little handles there, and she has cut that out of some of our brand new pattern paper. Next is our mason jar vase die set. You can see the jar itself and then the lid. Again, it's got all that great emboss detail. This is great to fill with all of your greenery and lovely layers, but this is also great if you wanted to make like a little shaker card, a little terrarium, a little snow globe. You could fill it just upright as is and add your little lid, or you could flip it upside down have the lid on the bottom, tie a cute little ribbon, and have that be a cute little scene or a snow globe. This is perfect with our cute little winter village die set. And you can see how Melissa has created the cutest little winter village snow globe with our new mason jar die. It's absolutely gorgeous. Okay, so let's create a card with some of today's products. So I'm going to use the layering holiday bells are going to be kind of the star of the card. I have all my die cuts ready to go here. I'm going to use the lovely layers winter greenery dies because all of these dies today, lots and lots of them mix and match and pair so well together. So it's awesome. And I'm also going to use the Jingle All The Way stamp set. So I love this kind of beautiful vintage looking font. It's going to be beautiful with our holiday bells. Okay, so I have my layering guide here and it gives suggestions on the colors. And I kind of followed and went along with the suggestions that the layering guide made just to make it easy for us. I'm going to lay all my die sets off to the side here. And you can see how some of these die cuts are done in just solid colored cardstock, and then the others, the greenery, is in white paper. So we're going to do a little bit of both today. I'm going to start out by blending on the Distress Oxide inks onto white cardstock. I'm starting out with Mode Lawn on those little holly leaves, and I am making the portion of the leaf that is closest to the stem darker. I'm starting there so all the pigment is kind of more saturated there in that area and dragging it up towards the tip. Now I'm deepening up my little holly leaves with Rustic Wilderness hitting that along the bottom towards the stem and then also on the little pointy portions um, of the top of the leaf. I'm going to hold this up and you can see that great gradient and variation in color there. I'm just going to add the rustic wilderness to this other little leaf and then we will be all ready to move on. So for the next stem I'm going to use pine needles and ice spruce and I am going to start out with ice spruce on the tips of these little needles. That's kind of a bluish gray ink. 
and I'm just gonna kind of mix and match this. I want lots of variations in the greens and in these little branches when I add them all together into a little swag with our bells. And so um, next I'm taking pine needles. Now this is a really deep, rich green and I'm gonna run that towards the center of the little branch and then add and darken up the tips of the little needles again with iced spruce. I can kind of hold this up here for you to look at it and you can see how pretty that's going to look mixed in with those bright greens of the holly leaves. Next I'm going to take this kind of little cedar looking branch and I am using evergreen bough. This is kind of a turquoisey bluish green and I'm going to add that all over. Now on some of these little branches and stems I went in at the very end and added gathered twigs just to the stem. And so I'm going to finish this up with the evergreen bow, and then I'm going to hit the tips of this with the iced spruce just to add some a darker color there just to the very ends and tips of these little twigs or stems on this little piece of what looks like almost like a little cedar branch. Now next I'm going to work on the pine stem and this is where I got the idea for the gathered twigs in the center. As I started out with that gathered twigs just right down the middle and I'm going to blend on um, rustic wilderness. Really deep, really rich right there on to the little needles at the um, end of the branch. And I'm going to just blend this on. It blends beautifully with the gathered twigs and it really kind of looks like a real little stem or a branch there. I'm going to go in and deepen up some of the ends and you can see how cute that is with the gathered twigs there in the center. I can deepen it up kind of by tilting this little sponge dauber and hitting right there in the center. And I love that so much. That's why I went back in on some of the other little branches and added gathered twigs just to the stem. Okay, now let's start on layering our holiday bells. So on the layering guide, it shows two different ways that you can use these. You can layer the two pieces together like I'm showing here with kind of the olive green towards the bottom of the bell and then that more kind of citron color on top. And um, you can have the other side be just the, the, the bottom portion as I'm showing there on the left. So you can kind of stack them up just like that and have that back one kind of be more of a shadowed piece. Now I love the look of that other bell, the layered bell so much that I ended up layering both of my bells exactly the same way. So I'm adding my little pieces of my dimensional bow together just with some of our uh, Be Creative liquid adhesive. And so I'm going to fluff up the little ears to the bow here, make that stand out, but I've just cut that out of red cardstock and you can see how cute that's going to be on the card. Now you can see here where I have cut the other layer for the bell on the left side. I liked that uh, better for the card that I'm creating. So I'm going to layer those pieces together and then we're going to start adding on some of the little detail pieces. Uh, that you see kind of laid on my desk there. I cut one of the pieces that has the little cutout parts just out of white cardstock and then the little ripples and scallops that fit down snugly underneath that I cut with gold glitter paper and so that just adds a little holiday sparkle. So I'm going to add these little pieces on and then we can get going on the rest of our little bells. Now after adding all of my little detail pieces here, I'm adding one of the little gold glitter pieces and that's just going to add a little sparkle there. I love to clean up any excess glue with the sharp end of my scissors or tweezers or die pick. You can see how cute that is with the little bow. And to deepen up those embossed lines, I'm just taking a green colored pencil. It's almost the same color as the cardstock. And I'm just going right over those embossed lines. That's just going to deepen those up and make those stand out just a little bit more. Next, I'm going to add the little clappers or the little part of the bell that's going to make all of the noise inside the bell. Now, I cut the base of that piece in gold glitter paper and I'm going to add a red little circle or red ball to the end of that. Just bring out that pop of red and it's going to tie in with the um, 
holly berries and the bow and stuff like that in our greenery. So I'm going to pull those out of my little die dish and then add those right onto the, um, the other little gold piece with my tweezers. Now that I have my bells assembled and you can see everything kind of gathered up there to the left, I am building my card base. So this is going to be an A2 top folding red card base and I have trimmed down some white paper and used our brand new Winter Gems A2 cover plate die to give this piece of paper some texture. And I'm going to hold that up for you to see. And in the light, you'll kind of catch that really subtle, beautiful texture in the white paper. Once I have that added to my card base, I am going to add some red and white twine to my little bells like they're kind of swinging freely and then add my greenery towards the top. So what I did was trim off a portion of the twine and then kind of loop that through the loop on the bell and I'm going to hang both of the bells that way and they're going to kind of be joined together up there in the winter greenery. So I'm going to add the bells with um, some of our tabbed foam dots just to add a little dimension to the front here. So I'm going to kind of set these where I want them to go but not press that sticky foam dot into the paper. I kind of want to arrange them this way and that to see kind of how I want the bells to hang and also the twine that is there towards the top. Now once I get everything kind of situated and into place I can really press that adhesive on the foam dots into place. I can trim off my twine and I'm just going to add a little bit of liquid adhesive up there towards the top just to hold the little tails of that twine together and all of that's going to be hidden because we're going to place our little winter greenery swag up there. I just use my Be Creative liquid adhesive and my reverse tweezers to kind of hold everything into place as that adhesive is setting up. Okay, so now for the fun part of the winter greenery. Now some of these longer pieces of greenery I snipped apart just like this little piece of the pine branch. I snipped that apart so I could have that beautiful piney color on either side. I did the same with the cedar branch as you can see there. And I'm just adding those down with my liquid adhesive. You can see me snipping off little bits here and there. I love to do this with greenery pieces and just kind of make it all fit and mesh well together. And I can add them here and there. And I'm just tucking them in here and there and then pressing that adhesive down. I can add my other pieces of branches and then also my holly leaves. And then once I get my holly leaves all down into place, I can add that pretty red ribbon. And then to finish this off, I use the Jingle All The Way Sentiment, Christmas Is Here, Bringing Good Cheer. And I finished off and dusted on some of the Tim Holtz Distress Clear Rock Candy Glitter. I'm going to hold this up really close and slow down here so you can see all the beautiful kind of vintage looking icy glitter that I added there. And that gives you a really good close up look at that beautiful background cover plate die as well. Now this has been a look at day one's products of our Make It Merry release. Make sure you check out all the details in the description box below. I hope you've enjoyed going through all of these things as much as I have. And this release will be coming to you on October the 21st after our release party. Thanks for joining me and bye bye.